Hey guys, this is Miss Coomer with your online art class. Uh, this week I wanted to show you a really fun printmaking technique that you can try at home. So when we think about printmaking, it's really just stamping where you can make um, multiples of the same thing over and over again, just like you'd be able to print an image off of a computer. Okay, uh, so here's my finished print that I made. You guys can see that I did like a leaf with some pretty vines and these sort of flowers and polka dot motifs in the background. Uh, so to complete this, uh, the first thing I'm going to need is a piece of paper. I'm going to use computer paper. You'll need some washable markers like these Crayola markers. And then you'll need a cup of water with a brush. And I just filled the very bottom of this cup with some water. And lastly, the most important thing, you'll also need a baggie, like a Ziploc baggie. And here's mine right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be drawing with my marker directly onto this plastic bag with my washable markers. Now I can just create something really creative and swirly on here or flowers or whatever you want. Something that's also really cool is if you have an image that you really like, um, for example, I have this magazine with this car on here. I can take that and put it underneath my baggie and actually trace that image right onto this. I think I'm going to do uh, a bird right now. So I'm going to pick my first color. I'll do a blue bird. So I'll give him a nice head, leave room for a beak, the body. I'm going to color that in. Now, if you guys were to just have this marker totally uh, vertical, that line would be really small and skinny. But if you turn your marker slightly on end, you're going to fill up more space. Make sure when you put your cap on your marker, you hear that snap. Give him a beak. Give them some little legs, little feet. An eye. And then maybe I'll just give them some green grass to stand on. And again, I'm gonna turn my marker on its side so that I can fill up more area. Okay. So there's my drawing. I'm gonna set my little baggie aside, being really careful not to smudge anything. I'm gonna pick up my piece of paper here, uh, and I'm gonna take my brush with my water on it, and uh, I'm just gonna wet the paper. Just a little thin layer of water. You don't want big puddles. You just want enough that the paper is a little bit saturated. There we go. So I gotta work fast. I want my paper to be wet. Then I'm gonna take my drawing and I'm gonna turn it so that the drawing marker side is down and that the marker touches that wet paper. Then I'm gonna really gently take my hands, press my image to my paper And when I lift up, I should have my bird now from my plastic bag onto my paper. Let's see. Oh, cool. That's really awesome. All right, everybody. So remember, for this project, you need paper, you need water, a paintbrush, washable markers, and a Ziploc baggie. I can't wait to see what you guys all make. Something that can be really cool. After it's done drying, if you want to add some other detail with crayon or marker or pencil, you can do that too. This can be a two-step process. I could even let my paper dry and then add more printmaking detail to the sides. I hope you guys have fun with this, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.